Hi, this is Charlie for Topic. Some Sigma lenses are causing a strange banding on video and stills on the Canon 5D Mark IV and some other cameras. Here is an example of the banding that we get. And this is with the Sigma 35mm f1.4. Now, if this is happening to you too, I will show you how to easily get rid of it in a moment. If you'd like to know more about this issue, I'll get to, into all the nitty gritty details after showing the fix. Here I have the 5D Mark IV on video mode in live view at the moment and you can see these strange bands that are appearing. Now this will unfortunately be baked into any video that you are recording as well as photos that's being taken. Great, so using Sigma lenses just ruined my whole shoot. Or did it? Well to fix this is simple. So all we need to go is go into the menu options and navigate to the red camera menu page one and in there is a uh, setting called Lens Aberration Correction. Just press set to go into that and in here you have to disable the peripheral illumination and probably best to disable correction for chromatic aberrations as well. And let's tap out and we'll see the banding is gone. Now if we're in normal stills mode and you get the same error, also just go into your lens aberration correction but you'll see now you'll have a couple of more options than in a video. Once more just make sure that peripheral illumination, illumination correction is actually disabled. Let's take a test shot. For those of you that are struggling on a shoot right now, I hope this helped and that the rest of your footage will come out great. For those that want to know a little bit more, stay with me and let's dig a little bit deeper into this issue. I'm going to switch back to stills mode. Make sure that I'm at an aperture of f1.4. Double check that um, peripheral illumination is activated again. Uh, now I'm going to take shots, each time stepping up with the aperture in AV mode so my exposure should stay similar and see what happens as we step down aperture with this effect. And I'm going to stop at f5.6. So let's review the images and have a look, flick back. So at the moment you can see f5.6, no banding, f4, no banding. And here around f2.8, something starts to happen. And if we review even more, we see our banding starts to appear. So it seems to be a major issue, wide open, f1.4, and then slowly starts to disappear around 2.8. Now let's repeat this in video mode, flick over to video live view and I'm just going to close or open up the aperture, 1.4, you can see the banding and as I step down, close down that aperture, we see the banding disappear right around here at f2, 2.2. Interesting. Now I just swapped over to the Sigma Art 50mm f1.4 switch live view on and peripheral illumination control is switched on at the moment and we can see now in live view that we do not have this issue. Now interesting enough if we go into the menus and have a careful look under lens aberration correction we'll see now that if we want to try and switch it on it says we cannot correct anything because there's no data. So that makes me think that this problem definitely is something to do with firmware. That there is some sort of incompatibility issue between the lens and the body. Um, that the moment you deactivate the setting, it goes away. Now apparently this issue happens with other Sigma lenses as well. Um, unfortunately I couldn't test it with anything else today than the 35 and the 50 mil because our lenses at the rental shop are so popular. Uh, basically they are all out and I was lucky to only get these two to test today. Well, what are the implications of this issue? Well, if you shot video like this, it's baked into the footage and it's ruined, as we can see on this video here. If you shot stills, there is hope. Now, I shot both RAW and JPEG, so let's open up the RAW files in Lightroom and see what happens. Now, at first, while we're importing the images, we see that these banding rings are on the RAWs. But wait, as Lightroom is processing the RAWs and creates new previews, these bands disappear. 
So that's really good news. It's not embedded in the rules, so it's probably just in the sidecar data. Now let's look at the JPEGs. Yep, they all ruined, the effect is baked in. So, what does Sigma have to say about this? Well, from their website. Dear Canon EOS 5D Mark IV users, thank you for purchasing and using our products. Please find the following notes on the usage of Sigma interchangeable lenses for EOS when attached to your 5D Mark IV. So skip down and say, when using a Sigma interchangeable lens for EOS, setting the corrections to disable is recommended as lens correction functions of the camera such as a peripheral illumination correction, chromatic aberration correction, diffraction correction and distortion corrections are not supported. Well, hopefully firmware updates will fix this soon. I still think Sigma is a great choice and a game changer. So now get out there guys and create some awesome imagery.